you guys, are you freaking out? No, I have not decided to become one of those annoying people that thinks they're really cool and wears sunglasses inside. I just happened to, and I hope you can see this because I'm making a point. Can you see how this is wet underneath and then I'm sweating? See the sweat? Um, I just topped off my work off, workout um, with a run. I don't want to say around the block. Uh, I probably ran maybe a half a mile um, to top off my workout. And I'm going to explain that in a second. But I thought before this disappears, I would show you guys. Can you see? I just got this. I was out in Baltimore at Under Armour headquarters. So full disclosure, they gave me this. Um, but can you see? I went outside for a run to top off my workout this morning because, and I, again, I'm going to get back to that in a second. I have not even had my coffee yet. Look, people, you get to see me pouring my coffee. This is a really obnoxious plug, but you guys know I'm obsessed with this company. The universe knows, and I use these in my coffee. Or I think you can tell I'm a little flabbergasted right now, but I really just enjoyed topping, topping off my workout. I enjoyed going outside and running. I really got my uh, running vibe back again. Uh, this is how I make my coffee, by the way, every morning. You guys are still asking me if I drink my coffee the same way that, you know, I started this paleo version, but now some of you might say it's primal because it had, I add a little bit of heavy whipping cream to it. I don't measure out the... I just always feel like my teeth are after I work out. I don't know about you guys. Anyway, um, I can't do this down here, but usually what I do is I just take my spoon that's in the cup and put some cream in it, but I just kind of, I probably put too much in that time. Just not, I can tell by the color. When I used, the way I used to drink coffee, um, you know, for those of you that still drink your, ow, stood wrong on my foot. I used to, you know, want my coffee to look really creamy. This is, I did put in more than I usually do, but I'm probably going to burn my lips off while I'm talking to you. Oh, so good. It's so weird how much my tastes have changed. Doesn't, don't get me wrong. I would still occasionally love a, like a real, God, Evanescence makes the best music, especially for working out. Like how can you not continue to work out when you're this, right? Um, also, here I am, typical Kelly. Oh, do you see how this is sticking to me? Look at the sweat. We're gonna get back to that in a second. I may come full, full can't talk this morning, full circle with my thoughts. I think my heart rate's still up. Let's see. Oh, I'm only at 94. But I burned 542 calories. I need to go Instagram that very quickly. Um, but as I've started um, having my coffee this way since last summer, I told you that if I make my coffee, there was one time, and I've tried it maybe twice, where I'm like, maybe I'll put some Splenda in it. Splenda haters get over it. Um, let's just pretend I said natural sugar or agave. Um, but I went to go put some of that in it and it just didn't taste the same. I really like my coffee now with no sugar in it. Um, and I use the heavy cream. Maybe that's because it tastes totally different with heavy cream instead of like what I was doing before, which <laughs> who knows what that was. I shouldn't make fun of it because I really enjoyed the taste, quite frankly. Anyway, let's get back to a point. My sweaty Under Armour thermal. I should get the tags for you guys. Anyway, they gave me this, and one of the things that I was telling Jamie, Jamie, this is for you. I was telling Jamie that um, I really have, I really, especially when I was in Florida, I really enjoyed getting back into running. And the thing about running with me is um, I'm surrounded in my influential community by all of these I might need to turn this down because some of you guys are going to yell at me. It's a little loud, I know. Um, just a little drip of sweat. You want to see that? Oh, you like that, don't you? Um, <laughs> what was I making? What was the point I was making? Oh, I really liked running. When I, was, when I was on vacation, I got up every day. And of course, I didn't need to wear anything thermal. Uh, but I would get up and I would go out for my run and I'd go in this great neighborhood by where my friend Kelly lives, which is where I plan on looking for a house. And um, I would go for a run and then I would come back and then I would run in the evening. It was just so nice. Now again, 
back to what I was saying. I'm surrounded by all these, in, you know, serious endurance athletes and that do half marathons and marathons like you and I put on socks. Um, I don't, I, oh, there's two little, there's two little birds, like ne pigeons, like nesting next to each other. So cute. Okay. Um, uh, I have realized about myself um, that I don't, I love to run, but I don't like there to be a schedule. I don't like there to be like, I have to run this on this day. I have to, I think you can gather by me. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you're probably in therapy by now, but you probably realize I don't like being told what to do. I don't like somebody going, you have to do that. Well, that's not really true. Um, with marathon training, I just, I, I like to run because I enjoy it. And what I found is that when I started to train for that first, my first half marathon, I was starting to dread it. I was starting to dread it because somebody would say, you have to, you know, at this point in time, you have to be at, to be, be able to run, you know, an hour and a half. At this point in time, you have to be able to run this. And if I wasn't there, then I felt like a failure. It was this whole mind mess up thing. It was gonna say a naughty word, but I can't say it on my blog. Rev theory. Look, I tried to do it and I messed up. I look so ghetto ridiculous now. Anyway. What I was trying to do was really cool. Actually, that's I love you, so it's supposed to be like this, right? But then I was told in high school that that's the sign of Satan, like the two horns for Satan, so I really shouldn't be doing that. But obviously when I do that, I'm not thinking of like, <laughs> Satan! Um, so it felt really good to be running when I was on vacation. And one of the things that I was telling Jamie is that I really want to run outside even when it's chilly in Chicago, but I don't, I don't, first of all, I don't know enough on how to layer for running outside in, when it's cold. And I've been around enough of my people, my influential people that run and, and do marathons and stuff. And I was surprised when they told me, they're like, you don't need to wear, like I thought you had to wear a big coat and all of that stuff, but they're like, you just layer appropriately because you're gonna get so hot anyway, which as you can tell, by the way, there's a lot of sweat still pooling in this. Obviously I do get hot, but I still was a little worried. Like I was a little worried that I'd go out for a run and I wouldn't be dressed warm enough and then I'd get like, just whatever. I was about to say hypothermia. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so when I opened up this little take home package from Jamie, thank you, Jamie. Oops, see, I got my nails done. Um, I, I, it said thermal on it and I'm like, thermal? But it's like, can you see this? That it's, it's see through, right? Little armpit holes. <laughs> Um, and love the color, by the way. So I'm not gonna lie. Of course, I was I was going. How can this be thermal? It's like see-through. Of course, it's cute, and I love the colors. But I'm like, hmm. So it was laying on my bed because I just got back from Baltimore yesterday. And um, was that yesterday? Yeah. So anyway, get up this morning, and God, I have so many things. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna start making my vlog shorter. I'm gonna chunk it. Even though it's eight, eight minutes into this vlog and I have yet to make one coherent point, we're gonna get there. Um, so here's what I'm gonna say about this. Let's just talk about this top and then I'm gonna to get to my next point next. No, maybe I won't. Sorry, there's always so many points that I wanna make. Anyway, here's the deal. I had a really long day of travel yesterday and then the night before, when I, when I got to Baltimore, um, I was staying at the uh, hotel, the Marriott, on um, Waterfront, and just had all kinds of funny experiences there, shall we say. A funny interpretation of what I'd call a salad. Um, I ended up having like a really bad migraine that night. Uh, we were supposed to go to this great yoga class, and I couldn't go, and that upset me. Then I tried to sleep, and there were some like football players or something in the next room who apparently decided that it was cool to talk on speakerphone all night. I had issues sleeping. Okay. Got up the next day, was crabby, but I got my workout in. Um, then I hopped on a plane, came home, um, and it was. And then this is also the weekend that my sister and her family are moving, and it's Easter, and it's my birthday on Tuesday. Heavy hinting. I have an Amazon.com wish list. Um, <laughs> I'm not one of those people. I think you can tell. People go, oh, it's my birthday. You don't need to get me anything. I'm like, Amazon.com, Kelly Alexa, there's a wish list. It's seven pages long. Go ahead. And my address is on there. I am not shameful at all about asking for gifts. I have no problem. <laughs> anyway, um, 
So it was a long day yesterday. Um, and I was feeling a little bummed because I didn't do my second workout as well as I wanted to yesterday. Sometimes it's all in your mind, right? So I got up this morning. Oh, this is yoga music. It doesn't take much to get me in my Zen state of mind. Um, so I got up this morning and I did my Les Mills combat DVD. And I was at about a 375, maybe 350 calorie burn. And I've told you one of my new rituals, I don't know why, but one of my new things is I do morning cardio, usually in my house, although Michael's changing up my routine a little bit to shake it up um, for second quarter, which will all be, the details will be on my blog. We'll review Q1, and we're gonna talk about Q2, and then the whole big picture, and all kinds of exciting, nerdy fitness goal stuff. Um, so, God, it's like blackbird season. Um, so anyway, finished my Les Mills workout, and usually what my ritual is, is that I get to the end of my workout where it's kind of cool down. So I come out here, I start my coffee, um, and I put my oatmeal in the oven, in the, uh, in the microwave. And then for like those last, I don't know, whatever, two or three minutes that all that stuff is cooking, I've just gotten to this weird ritual thing of, I have my running or workout music playing, not the Zen yoga music that I have playing now. But I'll put music on and honestly, like I just run around and jump around for like five minutes. And yes, I've been known to just dance like a crazy fool in my house. Of course I pull the shades down um, because I would hurt people if they were watching me. They'd be like, is she from the eighties? What's going on over there? So um, it's just this thing. And then it, it got to be this kind of mental thing where I'm like, oh, okay, if I'm at 350 calories, I'm gonna burn an extra 50 calories. Just this like dorky little game I play with myself. Um, again, so my coffee is there and, and I'll just sit here and do this like amped up cardio addition to my workout. And I call it like, you know, if it, you know, like my workout is my cupcake and then I'm icing my cake. So I'm making that workout even better. Yeah, that was a really dumb analogy. I should have used something like a protein bar, but who cares? Um, it's just a way of like, okay, I did the workout. Why stop there? Why not use this time instead of using this time to sit around and go, coffee's still brewing. Why not be like jumping all around and doing crazy shit and like kicking and punching? And honestly, like I'll do drills up and down my hallway. I'll run up and down and um, do jumping jacks and tuck jumps and all of these weird, strange things. And it's just gotten to be this fun thing. I blast my music. I'm sure my neighbors upstairs enjoy that. Blast my music and I just tear it up in the kitchen. So today I came in here and I saw this thing and I knew that it was going to be like 60 degrees out today. And I'm like, really miss running. I really want to get out there. So what did I do? I put the jacket on. Of course I added a matching headband. <laughs> Why wouldn't I? I've also got similarly almost matching Reebok shoes going on. Not quite. They're the bright orange ones that I wore in Florida. And, um, but it makes me feel a little bit more like, <laughs> okay. So I went outside and I ran again. I would say, I don't even know what that is. I, I'd say about half a, half a mile, quarter of a mile. I have to look at, um, actually I should know because I've measured it. Anyway, so I ran a big loop all the way around. And I was at 350, now I'm at 575. But I think when I got in the door, I was at 525. So that was the way I iced that little cupcake this morning. Someone's going to interpret my fun analogy in a really dirty way, and that's not what I meant. But anyway, here we are, and it was fun. And I just wanna mention again, I was totally not planning to do this, um, because honestly, if I was planning to run, I would have had my uh, Under Armour sports bras on. This is just underneath here. I have, this is a, uh, ooh, can you see the sweat? I, I don't know if you can see it as well. Well, it's very sweaty. Okay, so that shows you. Do you see what I'm saying? And I was outside. So um, I was not planning to do this at all. So, I mean, as you can tell, this is um, not, my sports bra stuff. This is just what I wear if I'm inside. This is a uh, Mundetta and just Victoria's Secret, who I'm mad at right now. But um, anyway, suffice it to say, oh my God, there's like sweat all over. Suffice it to say that trying this out, this, uh, not that I'm surprised. I mean, Under Armour's known for their thermal stuff, um, but I, can you see how see-through this is? Look, you can almost see my face through it. But it's very, very see-through. Um, and as you can tell, I, see that? This girl is sweaty. I'm not even making that up. I don't think I could. So, um, A, 
We're just gonna put that on the floor because I'm gonna wash it. That was not me being disrespectful or rude to my clothes. I take very good care of my clothes. I just needed to put it on the floor because I don't want it on my counter, that's gross. Um, but anyway, I'm getting ready to, here's my oatmeal with my PB2 and I'm gonna say it for you people. Some of you are gonna get mad. Oh, I need to add some water. Um, some Splenda in there. One second and then I'll wrap up and actually have a point. Um, so all I'm gonna say is, I, I guess as I was doing this workout this morning, I thought of two things. A, when you get down on yourself, it's very, very easy to take that out on your workout and kind of continue to punish yourself. I don't know if you guys realize that you do that. I do that. You know, I wasn't feeling good about myself yesterday and because, you know, my workout wasn't what I planned, then I felt like, you know, let myself down. I'm sure I'm fat or I'm sure I gained weight, you know. I, I haven't done this and you know, then you start to go, well, it's that old mindset. You just, it's, a, it's like, I've already sabotaged myself, so let me keep sabotaging myself. And of course, none of us really think that in our heads, but you know, unconsciously, you can be. So you gotta take out that antivirus software and apply it, just be like, ah, no, I'm not taking that, I'm not taking it. Mm. God, that's so good. I'm gonna make some egg whites. Um, anyway. So, I really need to Instagram this. Cause no, I did not work out for an hour and 40 minutes. Obviously the calories keep burning. Just since the last time I showed you, I burned another 10 calories, so. <laughs> it's cause I talk a lot. Didn't I say I was gonna keep this as a short vlog? Anyway, here's the thing. Number one, get yourself into a routine. Number two, we'll get back to this whole mindset thing and the tricks you can use. But number three, I keep seeing like similar themes on Pinterest of these great inspirational photos and they're basically all like, don't compete with other people, just work on being better than you were yesterday, work on being better than you were in general. So, you know, what am I doing when I'm focusing on quarter two? I'm looking back at quarter one and seeing, you know, making, making sure that I pay attention to what I did really well. What did I accomplish in Q1? Now what can I do better? Let's not obsess over what I didn't do because there are things, there's a lot of stuff that I didn't do, especially in March, I was kind of, there were a lot of times with you know these trips and traveling that I didn't get my weights in as much. Um, you can't dwell on that. What you can do is say, okay, well, how can we how can we anticipate that and up our antivirus protection for um, Q2? Okay, so focus on becoming better than you were yesterday, and that means like today. You know, instead of just being down on myself and convincing myself that it's a busy day and I need to get over to their house and help them move and I really don't have time for my workout. I took that initiative and when I finished my workout at 350 calories, I went for a run. The run feels great. I have great new Under Armour thermal wear. So now I can start running. I've got my running fever back on. I don't have to only run when I'm in Florida. And although I like running on the treadmill at the gym, I do really prefer to mix it up and get outside too. It just feels good to have fresh hair. The only thing I hate about running outside is when your nose runs. So if anybody can give me a solution to your nose not running all over your face, that would be great. Um, so there it is. I am now gonna go shower. It was a great morning. It started off me being a little down on myself and then I turned it around. There is nothing in my opinion that a great workout can't turn around. Do you agree? And I'm very upset that these are not matching right now because they're two different shades of Whatever. I'm going to go have my coffee and I'm going to love without limits. Is that what it says? Yes. And I'm going to enjoy my oatmeal and have some egg whites and go help everybody move. Mm. Mm. You guys have a kick-ass day.